Howdy folks, how we going? Thanks for joining me at the bar. Uh, normally right about now we'd be kicking on to uh, Brewery of the Month, but I'm changing the vibe a little bit. Um, I think everyone's, yeah, I think bloody, I'm a bit sick of just seeing me bloody sprout through a bloody month's worth of beers. <laughs> I want to get back to talking just in general about, yeah, it's on the breweries, or the brewery I've been going through for the month. Um, and get back a little bit more catching up with um, what's happening around the brewery as well for the month. Um, suggestion was made from, you know, from one of the viewers about, um, a catch up on the tap, you know, the beers that are on tap, you know, maybe once a month, which good idea, um, but the reality is generally doesn't change that much from month to month. There's only one, two beers changing, you know, over a month, maybe, you know, sometimes three depending on how it runs, but there's not a big change over, so I don't think actually that warrants the same video, but we can touch on it, you know, so a little bit more of a, um, catch up each month on what's going on around the place, what's coming up, what's been going on, so you get you know, a bit of an idea of what's, what to look out for. Um, as always, says Patreon door for the Patreons. Thumbs up to all those fellas. Thank you very much for the support. It is greatly appreciated and keeps the channel going. Um, Steve Varel, who won last month, back in you go. Steve, I hope you're enjoying your uh, mosaic uh, that you got last month. Anyway, we'll draw this in just a second. Um, I think I've got a, probably, probably a couple of packs of yeast heading out to our lucky Patreon this month. If you're interested in Patreon, there's a link down the bottom. Jump on there, have a look at it. Like I said, it helps out, the, helps out the channel, keeps me going, lets me do all the experiments and playing around that I do. Um, yeah, if it, wasn't, like, if it wasn't for Patreon, I'd be brewing probably one beer a month and that'd be it, there'd be nothing else going on. Um, none, no extractor games, no experiments, no trials, no testings, you know, so, um, if you want to support those things happening, yeah, that's fantastic. Uh, sucking on, speaking of the board, uh, this is the Summer Ale, uh, recent, recent brewing. Um, looking a little more um, stone and wood than it ever has before. It's a bit cloudier than it normally, uh, than it normally runs, but there's probably a bit more summer ale than it. Um, you know, see how stone, sorry, a bit more stone and wood than Pacific ale than it normally would be, but drinking bloody, drinking bloody nice. Anyway, let's put these Patreons out of their misery. Um, let's pick a winner. Uh, got one name here. Oh, Jesus. Yeah. Who we got here? Anthony Dangerfield. Not Danger Mouse, Dangerfield. You are the Patreon winner for this month. Um, for those who want to zoom in and check, keep everything above board, all that sort of stuff, make sure there's no cheating going on. Um, Anthony, you'll be have a uh, prize coming out to you sometime soon. So anyway, this month, beer-wise, I got back into the beers a little bit this month. Um, got down the cabin a little bit, had a couple of breaks, so I've had a bit of a um, bit of a run back on the beers. So I've been catching up on a bit of a backlog, which should caught up with me, um, got through the, um, all the all the beers from Seeker, all the collaborative, collaborative beers I had. Um, I think I said at the time that there was six of those beers, turns out there was actually ten. Um, I've still only since I've seen one extra, so I've only seen seven of the, of the beers, I haven't seen the other three, um, but anyway, got through those, um, got through the extras, 
Um, the really nice, what really nice um, NEPA they did with with um, deeds. Um, but yeah, really nice beer. Um, Pine Line Sour. I was really looking forward to hyped up. I've been discussing this beer with a couple of people online and stuff. Um, and when it came to it, was look just not quite what I built up. I, I think I might have built up too much myself. Um, it was a nice beer, and it certainly had that yeah that pine lime splice you know vibe going on, uh, but just just didn't quite just didn't quite get there. Um, I've got into some of the Bacchus, uh, only a few. Um, again, I said there's. Uh, out of the box of 12, seven of them are over 10 percent. Three of them, I think, were over 14 percent. A lot of big beers, so you gotta pick your mark when you're having those. Um, but yeah, I had some nice beers. I had, um, hazy, hazy IPA, and a triple dry hop, triple IPA. Um, last weekend, I was down the coast, down the down the coast. Both of those were really, really nice beers. Um, really good, solid um, examples of the style. Still got, a, still got a couple of big stouts and things to get into. So, um, the weather's, weather's certainly getting better for those. It's getting colder. Um, now Now we're flipping into May. Uh, we're sliding towards winter and it's getting colder. So the, the stouts are going to come out in, uh, a little bit more. Um, Still always not so easy to pull out a 13, 40% beer. You've got to have, still have your moment. So let's kind of drag that out a little bit. Um, that leads to, yeah, a little bit to the beers at home. Um, not big stouts, but stout. The sour cherry stout. Um, finally, it's on tap. Uh, got on tap. Oh, maybe a week and a half ago. Um, this is the beer we brewed down at Ulla Dulla with Steve. Me and Matty would lobbed on Steve for the day. We did a brew. We did two brews. I come home with a cube of the stout um, and it sat here for a while. Uh, and I've ended up adding the sour cherries to it, uh, the infected cherries. So it's um, very much a grand crewy type of vibe. R drinking. Drinking really nice. Um, that's the beer I wanted to do out. Of, I, I wanted to do a Buller Creek um, for, cher for cherry season. We did the basic cherry stout um, with fresh cherries. I really wanted to do this sour one. Uh, Going to slip a bottle out the mic. Um, in the next week or two, we're brewing up um, a Russian Imperial Stout out there. Um, he's asked me to do a Russian for, um, he's having a winter solstice um, party day out at the brewery. Um, cause it just so happens that the solstice falls on a Saturday, which is really good. Um, so, recipe's done, recipe's approved, we've had the chat, we've got everything organised, we're just waiting on um, fermenters to clear, uh, so we can get out there and brew that. Um, I was, it was initially planned for this Sunday, um, I haven't heard from him this week so I'm assuming that's not going to happen but it still might but you'll hear about that certainly next month, um, the, the brew dates, I'm looking forward to that, um, big nine, aiming for around a 9% uh, Imperial, I want to do something a, bigger, a bit bigger but uh, might come. Um, so let's go for a nine percent. He said, if it, if, it, "If it goes over well, hey, we'll look at doing a bigger one." I said, "Right, no, all good." So um, <laughs> the the BFO stout might make it in the commercial production yet. So the the Imperial is going to go into bottles. It's going to go into champagne bottles. Um, well, about two thirds of batch on the champagne bottles. A keg or two go into the brewery itself. Um, so that's um, something. <laughs> I'm really keen to, to get into and get happening. So, 
stay tuned stay tuned for that one but yeah that's that's that stout's drinking really nice um i've also been getting into the west side ales uh that was the brewery of the month for april uh the you know, the showcase brewery or whatever it is for beer now they've changed it um i've had I don't know, four, maybe five of the beers now. Um, and they've all been, you know, very, very solid beers. Um, all been nice. Uh, Westside are a well-rated well brewery on Untapped. Uh, and they're a bit of a sleeper brewery for a long time. Um... I'll, know, I'll roll that next month with the um, with the rest of the beers, but um, I've talked previously about the Ida Prul, which is a wild dark ale they did, um, and it was done under the wild under the wild side of the brewery, and it was never part of the official brewery, and they're always a bit hard to put together. But at some point in the last of the twelve months, they've gone and put everything together, amalgamated, and now they're just sitting under Westside Ale Works. Um, and, yeah, they're kicking at the moment, so I'm really keen to get through the rest of those. Um, and I'm really looking forward to that day to sit down and drink that Ida Pro. It's my birthday next Thursday. So that may be the day to pull out. Um, I've, said it, I've said it to people, um, quite possibly um, the best beer I've ever drunk uh, was that dark ale when, I, when I've had it previously? So I'm hoping it's gonna, the, the current batch is gonna stand up. Um, on tap, still running through. Blood Orange Goza. Uh, I'm the only one who drinks it. No one else around here drinks it, so she laughs a while. Still working through the Hot Goblin. Um, Summer rails there, the Sour Cherry. Uh, the Citra Pale Ale from the. ESB kitties there. Um, the hazy version that is there, I'm thinking I'm going to pull it off off tap. I'm going to pull, I've just bottled up, bottled, kegged up. Um, current version of the smoked amber ale, um, and I want to get that on. The, I want to put that on tap. Um, the hazy, I'm not real happy with it, um, so I'm going to swap them over. And the Coopers. Pale Ale and the Extract Aussie Ale, which was Twin Files number one, are both sitting on tap. Uh, and both drinking, you know, reasonable. The Aussie Ale, the Extract Base, is actually drinking quite nice. Um, it's got a very definite pub, you know, sort of vibe to it, um, while still having enough interest. Um, so, yeah, I had one of them just um, um, yesterday and it went down, went down quite all right. Um, so they'll, they'll go through um, reasonably reasonably quick. Um, Son-in-law's home this weekend. He'll probably um, put a bit of a drain on a few of those in the same way I have over, over the weekend. We will, we will see. Um, so, yeah, so that's, that, I said this is smoke. Smoke the end, we'll get on tap shortly. Um, the twin, twin Files number two brews. We'll both get on tap. Uh, and then, from there, that's where we sit. Fermenting fridges are empty as we speak. Twin Files, brew number four was um, also kegged this afternoon. It's sitting down here next to me just at the moment. Um, that was the Mangrove Jacks pouch uh, Irish Red Ale. Um, was drinking reasonably well this afternoon when I took a sample, so keen to see how that goes. Um, said they're Pilsen the Blonde here, which is the Twin Files number three. Um, so potentially we, 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 get, we might get tasting on that before the end of the month. Uh, I'm happy if it pushes into into June a little bit because for the it's nine month aging, but. Uh, we'll possibly get onto it a little bit earlier. So uh, there'll be brews coming. I don't know if I'm going to get one over the weekend. Um, 
I've got a lot of stuff to do. We've been away a lot, and I've got a lot of a lot of yard work and things to catch up with. Um, I might get lucky. It's a bit of rain. They're, they're talking some rain, so if I can get a day of rain, I might actually manage to swing a day out in the brewery and get a brew done. Um, what that is, I don't know. Don't, uh, don't ask me. I can't make up my mind at the moment. Um, so you'll hear about it at some point. But anyway. Uh, there'll be something happening. There'll be t tastings happening. I've got some uh, older bottles I found. I went through. I was doing some bottle bottle diving. I've uh, got um, an old, an, a, the last remaining bottle of the Crunchy Stout, um, which is the version, uh, second half of the batch that I, I had a dry enzyme to and dragged it down a little bit stronger. Um, bought it from 9% up to about 10 and a little bit. So um, there's one bottle of that there. So I'm interested, interested to see how that goes. But other than that though, Hey, we'll roll on. There'll be beer drinking, there'll be beer brewing, all the rest of it. Anyway, um, Anthony Dangerfield, cheers once again, thumbs up to you, thumbs up to the Patreons. Uh, if you subscribe to the channel, thank you. If you aren't subscribed, hit the subscribe button down there, ring the bell, get notified when there's a new video. Don't miss, you don't miss anything, yeah? You don't want to miss videos. And if you like what's going on, Give me the old thumbs up. I'm going to go and um, throw something at the dogs. <laughs> so until I see you again, we brew and beer, drink and beer, talk and beer. Good brew. Cheers, guys.